In the year 2024, speed is at a premium. If you want to become a true difference maker on the field and start earning scholarships, you need to get faster. How do you get faster, you might ask? Well, keep watching the video to find out. What's good, YouTube? We are back with my boy Vance for another speed session. So last time, y'all loved it, but that was more, you know, introductory drills. That was kind of, that was simpler stuff, right? This time, we're up in the ante, making it more advanced, taking you through the progression, right? You gotta start off small, work your way up when you're running a 40. That's what we're doing today. Vance, yep. let us know Let us know what the workout's gonna be. Today's gonna be more true speed, all right? 100% runs, uh, acceleration to start. We're gonna get into some top end speed, you know, watch, watch you open up your strides a little bit. Um, yeah, today we're gonna do less drill work and more, more true running. That's bet it. That, bet that. Hey, man, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what your 40 is right now, what your goal is for in a couple of weeks when you gotta run at these college camps. Because remember, yeah. everyone's looking for speed nowadays. Speed is a premium, so make sure you have it. Start, we're gonna start with bounding. We're gonna use the medicine ball to kind of give us a little more resistance so we feel lighter. All right, so we're taking this medicine ball and we're just gonna use it to kind of propel ourselves down the, down the field. All right, so we're just gonna be here, all right, and we're bounding. All right, don't grunt like I did. Um, just try and make it as smooth as possible, putting power down into the ground, big jumps. There you go, same thing coming back. Once you throw that ball higher and harder, yeah, yep. There you go. It's tough, it's tough. Now, drop it and we'll just go normal bounds now. All right, so just, and then you can still use those arms just like you had the medicine ball to get yourself down there. There you go, good. Good, relax. Now, we're gonna do straight leg bounds. All right, we're gonna do it without the medicine ball. Now more top end speed, kind of still as our warm up. All right, stay up nice and tall. Some people call these the Dion's. All right, very fitting. All right, and we're just pushing. All right, and trying to cover ground. All right, as you strike the ground underneath your hip. All right, still trying to cover a lot of ground, just with a straight leg movements at our hips now instead of our knees. There you go. All right, so now we'll start getting into starts. All right, uh, we're gonna start split stance. We're gonna keep our medicine ball out. All right, we're gonna lean over, you know, drive our knee over our toe, get our chest down. All right, and we're gonna pick our medicine ball up here. All right, we're exploding off this front foot, pushing the medicine ball out, trying to get triple extension with the first step. All right, as we go into a sprint. All right, so here, big push, get out sprint through, I'll be down there, roll the ball back. All right, so I'm really just looking for you to get everything out of that first, that first push. It's, wait, it's just one, like, sprint after the first step? Sprint after the first step, but I'm, I only care about the first step. There you go, good. There we go. Nice job. So for these next, for this next drill, all right, we're gonna contrast some band resisted marching and starts. All right, so the bands, you need two loop bands, all right, or shoulder harness. All right, they're gonna go across our upper body. All right, need a partner you can trust. All right, you're gonna go forward as much as you can in your forward lean, all right, about 45 degree angles. All right, and we're just gonna march with some pretty good resistance so uh, you're able to put power down into the ground, all right? and then we'll pair that with actual starts. So we're gonna reinforce angles and then we've already built our power up and we're gonna get some, some times, all right? Good, good shin angle striking the ground. Good, nice job. Good, we're gonna take those off. Um, let's get, one, I'll time this one. Sure, it's 10 yards? It's about. Hey, every, everything's, a, everything's rough estimate right now. Just like your 40 time will be. Hey, if it's a slow time, it's because it's calling like 12 yards. It makes you better. I have lasers for your official. I'm saying like one, six, eight. That's honestly not a bad guess. 
It was one one six two. Oh, yeah. Wait, one six. Oh, wait, one six two. Yeah, we, we're moving a little bit. Oh, wait, hold up. We're moving a little bit. Wait, one six two. Yeah, after after you get a lot of reps, you start figuring out where you're at. One six two. I, I ain't gonna lie. One six two, like right now. Right now, like not even training for real. Like I was in the one fives. Probably. You were in the one five. That's what I'm gonna but, say. Um, so the one six two first rep. You know, it is cold in here. I'll give him that. Um, Haven't one, been training really at, for this. For this. Uh, the closer you can get to the low one fives, like if you sit at a 155 five and lower, you're starting to hit that four four range uh, if everything stays equal, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, for, for positional guys, DBs, uh, wide receivers, running backs, uh, your 10 yard split should be in the in the one fives. Uh, let's do another round of bands and then we'll get a <clears throat> and we'll get then we'll get another we'll get two more two more times. Yeah. Still in the, the low one sixes. My arms suck there. Yeah, I could tell when uh, like my starts aren't as good because I'm not really putting emphasis on my arms. Yeah. So if I'm not putting emphasis, I know I'm gonna have those short choppy arms. That's right. Which is gonna yeah, make right. me have short choppy steps. Yeah. But I'm thinking actively, and then, big arms, long arms. Because you do cover a lot of That's when my strides. Ground. Yeah, you cover a lot of ground in your in your start. All right, get down here. You guys gotta have a plan of attack in the 40. So right now the plan is big arms, right? As we go through, we'll add more stuff, but right now, just focus on big arms. Yeah, hey, that's the one you're looking for. We'll do a we'll clock reveal. What was that, uh, <laughs> what was that time? One, five, three, come on, man. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me. I ain't losing it one bit. Yo. NFL, XFL, CFL, yo, hit my line, bro. Y'all got these safeties out here, not doing nothing in the field, missing tackles. We'll Trust a, me. Will it be in frame? I don't know. One, Trust five, me. Three. Trust me. I can still ball, still ain't losing, obviously, man. Yo, hit my line, bro. Hey, drop in the comments what team needs a safety. Top end speed. We got the parachutes out. All right, we're gonna give Hunt a little resisted top end speed running. All right, we're gonna hit some flying tens today. Let him open his strides up a little bit. Uh, and we'll work on some, some top end speed uh, at 100%. And then we'll talk through it about form, what to look for and all that stuff. But right now the goal is to run fast. I mean, good, we didn't really lose too much, uh, too much form. Um, so things that I'm looking for um, being it's a weird way to put it. Being light on our feet or getting our feet off the ground quick, but also putting a lot of power down and also being upright for the most part. All right, slight forward lean. He does have the parachute, so he'll have more forward lean because he's pulling against or pushing against something. Um, but top end form, we want to be more upright body posture. All right, putting a lot of power down to the ground. All right, and getting our feet turned over. All right, let's get another one. Hey, so where would you say, like, how would you say people's uh, arms should be? Like, what, what's the arm mechanics be in a sprint? Arm mechanics are hot button topic right now. My, my personal coaching philosophy is um, big backswing, all right? So elbow can be open. I'm sure everyone's been told to kind of run 90 degree elbows. You've heard all that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as long as we're swinging mainly through our shoulder, all right? Um, Front side, arm action, fingertips get to about eye level. All right, we're just trying not to have our hand by our ear or by our face, so they should be out in front of you a little bit. And then big back swing. All right, but everything's really coming from the shoulder. Um, and then obviously opposite arm, opposite leg, in case, yeah, yeah. We, don't, in case we don't know that point yet. I ain't gonna lie, if you don't know that, I'm not like, you know, we're all starting from, <laughs> we're all starting from somewhere, right? You gotta, you're not gonna be great when you start, but you gotta start to be great, but uh, yep. hey. You you behind, just know um, that you behind. So. Opposite arm, opposite. Gotta get on your uh, yeah. gotta get on your horse. This this don't really look too good. Unless you're doing layup lines. <laughs> Alright, what's the uh what we got next? 
Uh, we're gonna do some flying tens. So we're gonna give out two, three reps, uh, flying tens or flying, say the yards that you wanna run um, is just having a build up for acceleration. So now we're no longer working on acceleration. We're gonna build our speed up. When we get to a point, that's where we're gonna be running full speed and we're gonna run full speed or as fast as we can through our 10 yards. What would you say, uh, what would you say a good, like ideal time for a skill position player? For flying, for flying 10. For flying 10, you're looking, um, that depends on the amount of room you have to build up. Um, but let's say generally you get out of acceleration around 10 to 15 yards, depending on the person. Yep. Um, so after a 15 yard buildup, a flying 10 should be around a second. Um, How you feel on that one? Mm. I feel like I didn't really push out a lot in my start. Okay. So. So. Um, what was the time? So time, 109, Ooh. which a lot of variables go into having a good flying 10. Um, yeah, like we, you said, you know, start didn't feel good, but you know, for having a full day's work and getting some Getting a lot of getting a lot of reps in, so not bad. Plus, you also haven't been running. Yeah. yeah. So. Hey, man. You know <laughs> that clock. You see the result. You got two choices. You either sit and complain about it, or you just get to work, improve on it. Right. When I first started running, when I was in high school, I was running like four nines, four eights. The same. Eventually, same, got to a point. Bitch. You know, worked on it constantly through over the years. When it mattered, ran the time I needed to run. So just yeah. keep working. Don't let one bad time get you down. You know, just keep that mindset up. I'm just keep getting better. But that's going to do it for the video. Appreciate my guy Vance Iron Peak Sports Performance yeah. for the work. Hey, y'all tap in with him if you're trying to get faster. Trust me, he, gonna, he knows what he's talking about. I don't just say it about anyone, right? Y'all see my videos. <laughs> y'all call me a certified hater. I don't just say anyone's good work, right? But his speed work, good speed work. So y'all tap in. Y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your 40 goals are. Hey, let me know what XFL team, what NFL team, what CFL team should pick me up. Because I ain't going to lie, I still got it. But uh, still yeah, catch y'all next time. Peace.